and welcome back to another edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series, and today we are looking at the Miami Heat, the Miami Heat, which I pretend to be a fan of when I pretend to be Mike Wilson, but uh, yeah, the Miami Heat, they actually put together a good string of basketball towards the end, and we'll get to that, but first I just want to say, Chris Bosh, you had a good career, and he rightfully so stepped down when LeBron came over to Miami and when he joined Dwayne Wade. But he had an awesome career. He did good things for the Heat. And he's also one of the more underrated players because he doesn't get the credit that he deserves. He did a lot of great things and then once LeBron ended up lead, like he performed, he was an all-star on the Raptors and a guy that was and he looked to be a guy that can stir your franchise around that can turn your franchise around he's really a power forward he's he played center a bit for the heat but he's really a power forward so i mean look like a guy that can lead your franchise to a title and he went to the heat sacrificed some of his touches he still performed very well and uh, once LeBron ended up, ended up leaving, he got the ball in his hands more. And like before he got injured, in certain cases, in certain games, he looked like the same guy that was looked to be the franchise centerpiece for the Toronto Raptors. So like he got the ball when he got the ball in his hands once more. He just he looked like a very good player and. Remember this one game against the Warriors where Bob Meyer or Bob Fitzgerald and um, Jim Barnett were talking about how since Chris Bosch has the ball in his hands more often, he's now going to be getting more touches and more opportunities to score like he did in Toronto. And uh, he did. I mean, averaged 20 points per game for the first time since he was in Toronto. It's pretty efficient. Improved upon his shooting. So sad as his career ends like that. But now we talk about the Miami Heat. This team put together a hot stretch of basketball, no pun intended, towards the end of the season. And uh, yeah, I mean, they've always defense has always been sort of their calling card. I mean, even when LeBron was on this team, they were more so of a deep like defend and then get back on the fast break you know they they were sort of just a team that played defense and then just got out and run with Wade and LeBron and then when they got into the half court they obviously have guys that can do well in the half court Wade is a good cutter to the basket or was a good cutter to the basket LeBron he just did it all and he improved upon his three-point shooting when he was in Miami too Chris Bosch improved upon his shooting, whether it was from the mid-range and then, or the three, like, he improved upon his three-point shooting. So, I mean, the Heat, they just haven't been doing much since LeBron ended up leaving. There's a lot of half-truths that go around about LeBron, but Nam 2K already talked about them, so I'm not going to talk about them here because we're talking about the Heat right now, and they actually are a pretty good defensive team. Hassan Whiteside improved upon his defense this year. The blocks may not show it, but his technique does because, like, I mean, last year, or no, it was in 2016, there was a stat that said the Heat are a better team defensively when Hassan is not on the, was not on the floor, but he improved upon his technique this year. And then there's Goran, Dra Goran Dragic, since... He had the ball in his hands more often. He showed us why he's an all-star. And also, wow, he shot 40% from three. I didn't even realize that. But he showed us why he was an all-star. Or, like, he was an all-star caliber player. I don't think he made the all-stars in 2014. Maybe he did. I don't know. But I don't remember, I mean. But he averaged around the same amount of numbers that he did in his final season with Phoenix. Because this guy's a good offensive point guard. Defensively, he's all right. But... He's a guy when the ball is in his hands. 
all-star caliber player. Just play in the day and age in the NBA where there's a lot of good defensive players. And there's Tyler Johnson, solid shooter. Justice Winslow, he's a very good defender. Very good. Offensively, he's still got a bit more work to go from in terms of that department, but he's a very good defender. And uh, there's Wayne Ellington, shooter. Willis Reed, or Willie Reed. Gosh, I, I, I can I confuse him with Willis Reed. He played for the Nets. I thought he was a rookie. Man, <laughs> good rebounder for them. Rodney Magruder, I think he played good defense if I recall correctly. Or at least according to 2K, he did. And uh, there's Josh Richardson. Josh Richardson, good D and three type of guy. I mean, his efficiency went down this year. He was injured though. He showed signs of being a good shooting guard. So they have a pretty good wing duo in the future of Justice Winslow and um Josh Richardson. And there's Dion Waiters <laughs> and Dion Waiters. Funny how he did, how well he did for them from the come up this past season. Deion Waiters, when it came out of nowhere, he had some good games. Let's take a look at the games that he played. Yeah, he got injured towards the end, but there was a stretch where he was performing well, and he was a big reason why they were sort of, I mean, he was a big reason why they went on that winning streak. I mean, look at this, man. Look at this. Let's actually look at the count. Look at this from the calendar perspective. They started off like 11 and 30 or something. They started off 11 and 30 and then they finished 30 and 11 it, or something, something crazy like that. Because look at this. They beat, look at this, man. They were hot towards the end of the season. They were hot and if they had to face a team like the Celtics, they could have given them more of a run for their money, more of a run for their money than the Bulls did. I mean, because then you have you have Hassan Whiteside, he would be beasting on the boards. Grunt, I mean, you have talent around them, played good team basketball. So now they just need to make another good draft pick, because that was a good draft pick in Justice Winslow. Need to make another good draft pick. Ivan Rab. Eh, mm, mm, eh. I don't know about that. Maybe get themselves. I mean, they should get a power forward, but they should get more of a guy that can put the ball in the hoop, so they can get a guy like Lori Markkanen. That wouldn't be such a bad thing if he were to fall to the Heat. That would be a pretty good fit, if you ask me. So they just play good team basketball. And the Heat are actually in a pretty good situation. And uh, I definitely don't dislike them as much as I used to dislike them. But, uh, you know, the Heat aren't in such a bad spot. Or at least I say that before I check out their contracts. Well, they have they have cap space. They have cap space going into this off season. So I mean, actually, no, no, they don't. What am I talking about? These guys. He has a team option. I don't know if they're gonna pick that up. Rick Roberts has a player option. Tyler John. What the? He's making nineteen million dollars. What? That looks, that looks weird. But they have pretty pretty decent cap space. Pretty good cap space. Taylor Johnson making nineteen million dollars. I mean, we'll see about that. The Heat are in a good spot. I mean, Miami. Miami is a good market though because that's where players like to go because of the absence of salary of uh, taxes. So I mean, players like to go there. And plus, Pat Riley. He's a mastermind. I mean, he let. Dwayne Wade. He disrespected Dwayne Wade. Honestly, he disrespected Dwayne Wade. So, I mean, we'll see what he chooses to do. I mean, if they get a guy like Paul Millsap, that'll continue to add to their defense. It'll also give them some more spacing. And it'll also give them 
a guy, I mean, obviously, defensively, he's going to be good. But he's actually, he's actually underrated, too. He made the All-Stars, and rightfully so. So if the Hawks, if the Hawks lose him, then Hawks fans are going to know that he will be missed. So in terms of the Heat, if they can pick up a good free agent, then by all means do it. I think you can make the playoffs next year. Because you have a pretty solid team if you're the Heat. So, I mean, we'll see what they choose to do. So, yeah, I mean, this team is in a good situation. And they just need to make the right moves. And then they'll be in a good spot. So that is going to do it for this edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. I have been RJ West. I'm just saying so long. Next team we'll be looking at will be the... Um, hmm... Who's eliminated first? The Blazers were eliminated first. So yeah, the next team we will be looking at will be the Portland Trail Blazers. So I'll see you then.